welcome to this episode of Eating Out. I'm Felicia and I'm here at Sentosa Cove. Check out the beautiful yachts parked behind me. Yep, I'm here 15 minutes earlier just to take a stroll and to work up an appetite to have some delectable Chinese food at the nearby Walk 15 kitchen. So let's head into 115 Marina and enjoy some good food. Let's go! Alright, so now we are inside Walk 15 Kitchen and it's located within the premises of 115 Marina at Sentosa Cove. Um, Walk 15 Kitchen actually just revamped their menu and now they serve Shanghainese, Hong Kong and Cantonese cuisine and it includes an array of dishes. Just look at everything that is in front of me. They have like picking duck, they have ifu noodles and even a kaleidoscope of different dim sums for you to choose from. So if you're looking for a gastronomic destination for premium, authentic Chinese food, this is a place to be! So one of the reasons why I really enjoy coming to Walk 15 Kitchen is because of their cosy and intimate setting. If you're looking for a destination to get away from the hustle and bustle of the crowd, I would highly recommend this place because just look around, it's so quiet, so quaint and it's really one of the best destinations and one of the best restaurants to be at if you are looking to just have a good time with your family, sit down, relax and just spend quality time over a good meal. So what I have right in front of me is Walk 15 Kitchen's a la carte dinner offerings. So let's get started with some appetizers. Okay, so here is the deep fried fish skin with salted egg yolk. So let's give it a try. I mean, who don't like deep fried fish skin and salted egg yolk, right? And here they deep fry this themselves in the kitchen and it's coated with golden salted egg yolk. So let's try. Mmm! Can you hear how crispy it is? Oh my god. It's super fragrant and the salted egg yolk is not overpowering to inside. So it's really a very nice appetizer to start off this piece right in front of me. So let me finish this piece I have in hand before we move on. Let's move on to the next dish. Everyone's favourite. Tell me who don't like. Peking duck! So what's so special about Walk 15 Kitchen's Peking duck is they use an egg crate and right inside um, they slice their duck so thinly that the skin doesn't have any of the leftover fats. So when you are biting into it, it's actually very crunchy and it's not overly greasy. So let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. So what's so special about this is there really isn't any fats on it. And as you can see, I'm not sure whether you can see right here. The skin is really just the skin itself. So it's very crunchy and it has that fragrance of the roasted skin. Very nice. And they also use wu xiang fen, which is spice spice powder to marinate the duck. So it's very fragrant and has that nice spice spice powder, that um, fragrance and taste to it. I have a bowl of double boy herb chicken soup with Tian Shan Xuelian right in front of me. And if you dig right into this bowl of treasure, you'll see this translucent looking um, object. Okay, it's actually a herb called Tian Shan Xuelian and it's sourced from China. And according to the staff here, this soup is a very nourishing soup and it's double boiled for four hours. Mm. It's very fragrant and it's actually more to the sweeter side. The chicken is not, it doesn't have a very strong herby chicken taste. So I guess it's a soup that is suitable for the young and the old. And we will, let me bite into the Tian Shan Xue Lian because I've never heard of this herb before. Hmm, it tastes like jelly. It has a very jelly-like texture and it actually slides in your throat. So you can really feel that the nourishment is going down your throat into your belly. Alright, so whenever you order the flambe prawns here at Walk 15 Kitchen, it will be done table side and it will be served to you. So you have a staff that will be flambeing the prawns and you will get to enjoy a fire show 
right in front of you. So this is the final product, which is the flambe prawns with Shaoxing wine. And these are tiger prawns. So the size is relatively huge. And let's give it a try. So even without biting in, I can already smell the fragrance from the Shaoxing wine. The prawns are very sweet and it's very fresh. But here the prawns are crunchy and it has a nice texture and it has a nice bite. The Shaoxing wine doesn't overpower the sweetness of the tiger prawns here. Mm. Okay, it definitely won't feel drunk after eating the prawns and you definitely will be able to like finish the whole plate. Because it's so sweet. Oh my god. Thank you, Nancy. Alright, so Nancy just passed me a slice of the deep-fried gobi fish with premium deluxe soya sauce. Going to cut in and give it a try. Mm. Like, okay, frankly speaking, right, the fish has been sitting there for a while, but yet, the skin is still crispy and the flesh is so tender and it has this very immaculate taste. Very clean, very delicate. Mmm! Add the shredded string onions because it makes it so much more fragrant and there's the crunch of the vegetables to it. Definitely, they're super nice. So here we have braised ifu noodles with baby lobsters and spring onions. One thing I need to emphasize, just look at the size of oops stripping. Look at the size of this lobster. It's like almost as long as my face. Yep. So let's dig into the lobster meat. It's like looking for treasure, you know. Every time I eat lobster. Ooh! Okay, it comes out really easily, so you don't have to make a fuss out of it. Mm. Comparing to normal Boston lobsters, the meat is actually more how do you say it? It's um, more solid and it has a very nice texture. It's not powdery. It has nice resistance when you bite. So you can actually feel the chew in your mouth whenever you eat um, bite into the lobster meat. So you see? Oh my god, I need to show you all this. Okay, wait. It just like comes out easily. Like I just need to do this and the whole thing just comes out. So that is how soft and tender the lobster meat is. Best part, noodles. I love ifu noodles. Ifu noodles is so fragrant, so soft. Okay, it's not the al dente type, so don't expect it to be like your pasta or like chewy, very... Like it doesn't really have a bite, it's very soft. And it's braised to near perfection. Together with the lobster broth, Every bite is so fragrant and so rich. The next seafood dish we have is the stewed sea cucumber with foxtail millet and snow lotus. So, unlike the other you know, sea cucumber dish that we see in most Chinese restaurants, which is made using um, oyster sauce, this is specially created with the chef's own sauce, which is actually a white base sauce as you can see. This is one of my favourite dish because sea cucumbers has collagen and it's good for the skin. Ooh, the broth is actually very thick and the sea cucumber is so easy to cut through. The only problem is getting it on my fork because it's so slippery. Very chewy, very smooth and it just glides down your throat. And the best thing about this is the broth because the broth is so fragrant in itself and it has this um, little millets inside. Mm. It makes the whole dish very hearty. So this is a dish, um, like you guys know, sea cucumber is very nourishing, it's good, it's high in collagen. So all my females, or even males who want just one nice skin or like bouncy skin, this is the dish that you must order. Let's move on, shall we? So now let's move away from the seafood and head into the meat section. So in front of me, there's a stewed br beef brisket. Oh my god, it's such a tongue twister again stewed beef brisket and it is um, together with served together with bok choy it has a nice mixture of the lean meat as well as the beef tendons so those who like more collagen yeah here you go beef tendons let's take a bite of the lean meat mm. it's very soft so tender so soft and it has that nice oily layer 
that coats your lips. So for this dish, the beefy taste is actually not too strong because they stew it together with big pieces of ginger. So it's actually very fragrant. It has that gingery taste to the dish itself. So it's a very nice and very hearty dish on a cold rainy day or actually any time of the day. Last but not least, dessert! So here I have a big cup of green apple and chrysanthemum tea flavoured jelly. Wow, let's dig in. So it's actually they have um, pomelo as a topping as well as fresh strawberry. So take a look, it's like tea jelly, very refreshing I guess. Mm. A bit sweet, a bit tangy and it has that fragrance, that floral fragrance of chrysanthemum. So it's like chrysanthemum tea made into a dessert. Mm. The green apple flavour is very subtle, so it has that little bit of sweetness and the fruitiness. But actually the fragrance of the chrysanthemum stands out more. Wow. Mm. Wow. After finishing or after finishing your meal of all these decadent dishes, this is one hell of a good dessert to end it. Oh my god. Let's try a little bit more. Okay, I'm trying because it's really very nice and I really want to try it for myself. Mmm, very refreshing, very nice. Okay, I think I'm going to end our vlog here. Alright, so I'm done eating, belly filled and super satisfied. And just like always, ta-da! Double. So actually here at Walk 15 Kitchen, they provide two kinds of bento for you to take away. There is the Chinese bento and there is also the dim sum bento. And they, you can either sell, um, opt for self-pickup here or also do delivery on Oodle Eats. So you can definitely share your favourite Chinese food with your friends and families even in the comforts of home. Alright, I'm done for today. I'm very happy <laughs> and I'm going to continue enjoying my stroll at this beautiful place. So we'll see you at the next episode of Eating Out. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day!